Okay. Nope, 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 nope. We're done. Hey guys, it's Will. And Jose. And I don't know why I always sit my chest to introduce myself, but hello. Hello and welcome to Supamburi. Supamburi. Yes. yes. So until this week, we'd never heard of the province. And we're mm -hmm. like, why not come? I mean, it's only like, what, two hours away from Bangkok? Yep. So yeah, we're gonna like, learn and explore this together. We didn't do any research, uh, a little bit, but it's a little. the basics. Well, we plan on like discovering stuff fluidly, so we'll see. Yeah, so just sit back, enjoy all that we have to show you, and tag along. Yes. guys it is hot 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 so we look slimy it's because of that uh yeah so we're at dragon paradise dragon paradise park and the first thing you see right away when you come in is this magnificent dragon figure that just like stands out in all of Superbury. it is massive it's beautiful it's gold it's flashy I love it. I imagine this is what dragons would look like if they existed or when they existed. <laughs> the grounds are very Chinese inspired, so it kind of gives you that vibe that you're in China. Yeah. Um, because I guess a lot of the Buddhist uh, philosophies do come from Chinese origins, right? Yeah. They or, share a lot of similar yeah. beliefs. Yeah. To get into the museum, it's 500 baht, but we're just going to hop lot. out of it. It's just too much for foreigners and show you guys the grounds of this beautiful place. Yeah, there's a lot to see. Like, there's a lot to see in a very small space. So I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so let's go explore all of yeah. this together. <laughs> Here's the thing. We might not be able to read the language. We might not understand what we're looking at all the time, but we know it's special and it's just beautiful to us regardless. We came across this section of the temple grounds where you're able to donate a hundred baht to get a wooden plaque. On the wooden plaque you write down your wish and once you have it down, it could be a wish for yourself, for your family, or for your other loved ones. You write it down, hang it up, and you're supposed to pray on it every single night. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are your first impressions of the Dragon Paradise Park? Oh, I love it. I mean, everything's bright and larger than life. So many colors and I mean, you can't help but be like inspired. Um, I guess the best way to put it would be art. It's art. It's a big art park. Yep. Beautiful buildings, bright colors and a lot of heritage. We'll do pretty much anything to get a good view of where we're at. Even it means climbing all these set of stairs. Do it. So we're rushing down because we got to the top of this place and realized Jose left one of our cameras on the table. Did you find it? If anyone's curious to know what traveling's like with me, don't even bother joining me on the trip because I've left my phone at Big C. Today. Today. Um, I left my passport at some point in one of the trips somewhere. And I just left the camera at the table where we were writing our blessings. Luckily and thankfully and so grateful to say Thai people are the most nicest people and they don't take anything that doesn't belong to them. Things would be different if it was back in America. But Ooh, heart's racing, world's heart's racing, and don't ever consider traveling with come on, come on, come on. So beautiful here guys, very serene. We're like one of, or two of like, 
a handful of people here. And then look at this majestic, beautiful beast. And I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> Okay guys, let's be honest. I am not the best at presenting <laughs> temples or statues or anything that has to do with religion or a belief. And the reason behind that is because no matter how much I use google.com to give me information, when it comes to religions and beliefs, like people interpret things differently and I don't wanna come off ignorant and rude and disrespectful to anyone and disrespect any religion or any belief. And the focus of our channel is to show our experiences that we're having, me and Jose, as they're happening. So bear with me, just a just a, a, a minute by will, or a will by minute. That sounds like a service, Never mind. Guys, first impression of Supunberry. Soup first impressions of Sapunberry. Sapunberry? Berry. Burry. <laughs> Burry. Guys, Ratchaburry, Kachanaburry. He's, he's never gonna get the berries right. He's just yeah. we're gonna go with berry. We're renaming every province. <laughs> it's berry. Just an assortment of berries. Berries. Regardless, first impressions have been on point despite my forgetfulness. We believe this province is gonna be one of the highlights of our trips in Thailand. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I mean, first impressions have already like exceeded what I thought. It's going ahead and point out now. There's no mountains. There's no limestones anywhere. It's very flat, marshlands. But like, if there's an adventure here, we're gonna find it, mm -hmm. and we have lots of fun. So, so yeah. yeah. It's almost dinner time. And we don't want to go home yet since we're ordering grab. So we came to the middle of town to see what there is to see. And we found one of the coolest needles. Needle? Yeah. Needle tower? Needle tower. Something like that. Here in uh, Sepanbury. Yeah. And the name of it is Banharn Jamsai Tower. Yep. Like, I hope I pronounced <laughs> it correctly. I probably again mutilated it. But anyway, it's like a big space needle. Um, in the middle of the city. And surrounding the needle is like this cute little park. There's like elderly people. Like walking, walking. It's so cute. And again, Thailand, they manic they keep their yards manicured and landscaped. Like their public spaces are beautiful. Like meticulous. Yeah, there's no littering. There's no littering. There's no... Uh, lettering? Littering. <laughs> Yeah, littering. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. It's closed, guys. I feel like we should have Googled this first. Well, to be fair, we were driving by, we saw it, we thought we'd stop. It's closed, we'll come back tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's our first full day here in Supanbury. Yeah, we're super excited. We woke up early to make a like hour drive, not less than an hour drive, to one of the places we've wanted to come since we wanted to move to Thailand. And it's actually called Wat Khao Tam Diam. Yeah, it's super, super beautiful. It's far beyond our expectations. It looks way better than what we've seen in photos. Yeah. Um, it's just grand. So what it is that we're talking about, it is a Buddha statue that is carved into the rock, into the limestone here. And it's beautiful. <laughs> You'll see, like, yeah. it's, it's extraordinary. This place is pretty much brand new. 
so it's still under construction. Like they're still doing a lot of work to the grounds. Yeah, it was just built in January of 2020. Oh, okay, so that's really recent. Really recent. <laughs> it's even more recent than I thought. Yeah, you can tell, but it's still beautiful. You can tell it's gonna be incredibly epic once they're completely done. Also guys, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Will and I have found ourselves at a lot of quarries recently. This happens to be one of them, uh, but then it got abandoned and then they decided to use the grounds as sacred grounds and built the Buddha. Yeah. There's also a tunnel carved in the middle of the cliff. It's on a golf course. As soon as we walked out from the tunnel, we as assumed that this was a golf course. Like we knew it didn't make sense that it would be a golf course, but when you see turf like that and it's beautifully landscaped, you're like, it's a golf course. It's not a golf course, but it's going to be beautiful when they're done with it. Do you see this? Jose, look. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? Jose, that is a beehive. I have goosebumps. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, watch it, watch it, watch it. No. Whoa. 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 Okay. Could you imagine flying your That's drone into that? That's about to morph into something. I don't want to do <laughs> Okay. First and foremost, no disrespect to anyone. But me being American, I saw this, and the first thing I thought of was a shot ski. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. Have you ever done a shot ski? Yeah, I've done a shot ski, I've done a couple. <laughs> William. What? You do not have a past life after me. After or before you? me. <laughs> anyway, another subject. Since living in Thailand, we've seen pretty much all different types of Buddhas made out of gold, made out of emerald. But this is absolutely the first time we've ever seen a Buddha made entirely out of rock. It's awesome, it's gorgeous, and it's worth coming to Supanburi to check out and see for yourself. I love it. I love Thailand. We chose the right place, or it chose us. Thailand chose us. Oh, sons of my eye. Gotta go. Bye, Gunner. Bye, Gunner. We're gonna miss you. Bye, Gunner. We love you. Thanks for showing us around, buddy. It's finally lunchtime, and we thought we would bring you guys to an awesome, cool floating market here in Supanbury. However, it's not turning out the way we wanted it to. But not because of anything. It, it's actually more sad than anything. It looks like uh, it no longer exists. Like yeah. maybe the waters, you'll see. So it's a floating market and it used to be a huge fishing trap, which is a very, it was an attraction here, but it looks like it's fallen and yeah. Like, look, this is, this was seating. Like this is all, it's sad. I'm guessing, I mean, Jose are thinking maybe due to all the heavy rains we've had. Central Thailand, there were heavy rains and a lot of the lakes over flooded. So we're only thinking, that this may have been one of the places that got impacted. Yeah, something happened for sure. Yeah, you could like walk through and that way over there was like the fishing trap. And yeah, it sucks that it's not, that this is what we came to, but like we're not boohooing about it or on our behalf, it just sucks because we know this is people's lives and it just sucks when you see things crumble. It is because I feel as though this was like one of their many ways of getting their form of income. Some revenue and yeah. And just because of a natural disaster, it has impacted them. And the Thai people are very adaptable. So that's a plus, so hopefully they're out there hustling in different ways, which they always are, in a good, positive way. Oh, 
Not gonna lie guys, the moment we drove into Supamburi, I saw nothing but like wetland and marsh and I literally thought that's all there was to this little province um, until we saw like the Buddha and the Landstone Cliffs today. But yeah, a huge majority of this is marshland. It's beautiful though. Like it's unlike anywhere else in Thailand we've seen so far. We love it. So we're just driving, we saw this. We just stop. It's cute. Little bridge. We always stop at cute little things like this. We're so basic, Jose. What the hell just flopped? Wait, what just went in there? Y'all, I don't know what goes on in the water here <laughs> in Sapamburi, but these fish are crazy. Like they're out here doing dolphin tricks. Like at SeaWorld. <laughs> they literally, <laughs> like, dolphin but do they not fl they Like they, like, like, acrobats. They do, wow, careful. It's finally the end of day one here in Supanburi. And I think it's the right time for us to kick off the Will Show. Oh, Alright, okay. so this Will Show is a little segment I started back um, in Chiang Mai at the Dragon Temple. And I can't recall the first time I did it. Regardless, this time we're going to do it here at the bridge. And we're going to do a little different. Instead of asking one question, I'm going to do a rapid fire of questions and Will has to answer them quick and with no thought I don't like whatsoever. that. Okay. Okay. Right. Ready? Let me know when you're ready. Go. Uh, Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? Britney. Favorite Britney song? I'm a slave for you. Favorite cereal? Fruit Loops. Favorite Kardashian? Kim. Favorite Real Housewife show? Beverly Hills. Favorite province you visited? Krabby. Favorite Thai food? Crop pot guy. Showers or a uh, bathtub? bathtub? Shower. Showers. Cold water or hot water? Cold. Next country you want to visit? Vietnam. Long tail boats or ferries? Long tail boats. How many languages do you speak? Three. Which are? English, Spanglish, and Brittany. Your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? When people just don't hold themselves accountable. What would you tell your subscribers now? What would I tell them? Thank you. Like, thank you for watching us. Thank you for giving us a platform to share our lives and be us and follow along with our shenanigans. Craziest thing you've done? Craziest thing? Jump out of a freaking airplane. What do you want to do next? What I want to, uh, what I want to do next? Travel more. I definitely want to snorkel. Ooh. Not snorkel, sky, uh, scuba dive. Scuba dive. Biggest fear? My biggest fear, oh my gosh, my biggest fear, sorry, I can't rapid fire on that one. My mind goes many places. My biggest fear is dying before I feel like I'm fulfilled in what I've done in mm. life. Not to get deep or dark, that's a fear. Barbies are my little ponies. Oh my gosh, that's literally the hardest question I've ever been asked. I have a good Barbies, but I love mm. my ponies. That is the end of the Will's Rapid Fire Challenge. Yeah, and don't, don't, for, don't think for one second that I will not be role reverse asking Jose questions very soon. I just need to think of them. And before we cap off the day, I just want to say, if you guys have any questions of your own that you want to ask Will or myself, just drop them below at the comment and we'll make sure to read them and have at least one of them answered at the upcoming video. All right.